Entering the digital landscape of 2006, it's impossible to overlook the buzz surrounding MySpace. Established in 2003, this social networking platform swiftly gained prominence, captivating millions of users globally. Today, I embark on a journey to unveil the allure behind MySpace, exploring its features, user experience, and cultural impact. With anticipation, I registered for MySpace to comprehend its appeal. The sign-up process was easy, intuitive, and smooth, offering a myriad of options. These included uploading your photos and inviting friends to join. Upon completing the sign-up process, I was greeted with the control panel, a hub where users manage their profiles, settings, privacy, messages, and other aspects of their MySpace experience. Diving into MySpace's diverse ecosystem, I encountered a wealth of user-generated content that showcased individuality and creativity. For instance, one profile captured the essence of the emo subculture with its girly pink colors, flashy animations, and an accompanying playlist filled with emotional tunes, creating an engaging experience for visitors. In contrast, another profile adopted a gothic theme, complete with dark horror aesthetics, gothic fonts, and a soundtrack of heavy metal music, appealing to enthusiasts of the darker side of art and spirituality. On a lighter note, a comedic profile stands out with its Shrek-themed layout, injecting humor and jokes into the design, making it both appealing and amusing for anyone who visits. These examples illustrate the depth and diversity of creative expression within MySpace's digital landscape, making it a compelling platform for users from various subcultures and communities. Inspired by these profiles, I began editing my own, exploring options for interests, personality, basic info, background, and more. Through these choices, I aim to provide a snapshot of my identity for fellow users to connect with. This process of editing was not just about personalizing aesthetics, but also about conveying a genuine representation of myself to the MySpace community. For those seeking to elevate their profiles beyond basic customization, venturing into CSS coding offers a world of possibilities. From intricate layouts to personalized animations, CSS empowers users to craft visually stunning and highly personalized profiles that reflect their style. However, navigating CSS can be daunting for beginners. That's where platforms like Pimp My Profile step in, serving as a treasure trove of pre-designed templates and user-friendly tools. These platforms streamline the customization process, allowing users to effortlessly enhance their profiles with eye-catching themes, dynamic elements, and interactive features. Whether it's adding animated backgrounds, customizing fonts, or incorporating multimedia elements, these platforms bridge the gap between technical expertise and creative expression making profile customization an enjoyable and accessible pursuit for all MySpace users. While MySpace serves as a platform for socializing, it also presents pitfalls. Instances of creepy messages from strangers and concerns about online safety 
are prevalent. The anonymity of the internet sometimes leads to unsettling interactions, emphasizing the need for vigilance and awareness of the platform's susceptibility to spam, fake profiles, and potential privacy breaches. Users are advised to exercise caution when sharing personal information and interacting with unknown entities. One controversial tool that emerged was Friend Blaster Pro. This software promised to revolutionize networking on the platform by automating friend requests, messages, and comments. However, its impact was far from universally positive. Friend Blaster Pro's automation capabilities were seen as a mixed bag. On one hand, it offered users the ability to rapidly expand their friend lists and reach out to a larger audience with minimal effort. This was particularly appealing to individuals and businesses looking to boost their visibility and networking reach. Yet on the other hand, the flood of automated friend requests and generic messages detracted from the authenticity and genuine connections that MySpace users sought. Many users found themselves inundated with automated interactions, leading to a backlash against the tool. MySpace itself took a stance against such automated practices, including limitations on the number of friend requests and messages that could be sent within a certain period. Additionally, the platform's interface, although innovative, faced criticisms for its cumbersome nature. Especially noticeable on slower internet connections or outdated browsers. The design, which emphasized customization and multimedia integration, sometimes resulted in slower loading times and performance issues such as sluggish page rendering, broken elements, and compatibility problems with certain features. Despite challenges in usability and security, MySpace remains a pioneering force in social networking, shaping digital culture and continuing to influence the future of social media. Amid these trials, there's a heartwarming aspect symbolized by Tom Anderson, the co-founder, who serves as user's first friend, offering a warm welcome and a friendly environment that is deeply appreciated by its users. This nurturing atmosphere fosters a sense of familiarity, care and inclusivity within the platform, creating a unique and cherished space for digital connection, creativity and expression. <laughs>